Hey everyone, it's March 19th, and I have something to show you. Okay, so, in the, prior, in the video I did on the 18th, March 18th, I showed you, um, I thought I had a, a slug issue. Um, but after looking at the soil, uh, usually if it's a slug issue, you can, you'll see bits and pieces of, um, uh, the slug goo, the trails of a slug. It's kind of, um, it's kind of shiny. Um, it just looks like, you know, snot. Um, if you just blew your nose on it, that's what it will look like. Um, but I didn't see any of that. Um, but what I did see is these tiny little leaves right here. You see these little pieces? This is what came, came falling down. So it's an ant problem. The ants are chewing away at the leaves, they're falling down, and they're carrying them away. Um, so the way to fix this, um, I don't first I don't, I'm not sure where the ants even came from, um, but I can tell it's not a coordinated, it's not a group, it's not a whole colony I'm dealing with. Um, if that was the case, this whole plot would have been uh, completely destroyed. Um, so far I can tell they're focusing their energy, their time on eating away at the squash, which is a, has a lot of water, has a lot of nutrients, and it's a, it also has a lot of glucose inside this stem. Um, the rest of the plants seem pretty fairly unscathed. Um, I do see a couple of nibbles here and there. Um, right here is a, one on a bell pepper. It's a tiny little hole. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, but a lot of them pretty much have been untouched, along with the artichokes has been, have been untouched. Um, how to rectify it? Uh, usually you just remove all the plants, you completely soak it, and you uh, basically try to drown out the colony. Um, I mean, there's other chemicals, but you really don't want to use them because what happens is that ants will pull the chemical, eat the, the chemical and take it back to its hive and infect the rest of the ants with that pesticide. Now the pesticide could be, or the colony could be right below your vegetables and you don't want it to carry and uh, mass produce that pesticide and get into the vegetables. Um, the other one is just, you know, flooding it and removing all the plants. <coughs> um, but. Right now I'm just trying to see where they're going. You can just follow the pieces of leaves and uh, try to figure out where the colony is. Um, I would assume it's somewhere in this section here in the corner. Um, yeah. They're doing a pretty good job of destroying everything. <laughs> oh, fuckers. Um, now you mostly will run into ant problems uh, during severe weather. Um, it's cold snaps, extreme heat. Um, basic uh, survival instincts of any animal is to you know go hunt uh, store food uh, so right now I think that's what they're doing um, during regular seasons once they finally fill their colonies uh, you get less ants um, but if it does become a larger issue um, I will have to remove everything and remove all the soil and just flood it um, this is not too bad. This is actually some wind damage. It's been kind of windy. Uh, and there's a little ant right there. A little sucker. So, that's what's doing it. Kind of a bummer. Didn't expect that. Never had an ant problem. Um, for as long as I've been gardening, I've always had slug problems, aphid problems. You know, I've seen ants gather around raised beds. It's very common, especially when you have so many wood chips down. I mean, it's a perfect little haven for them. Um, but I've noticed it usually dies down around the second year. Uh, the first time I did a raised bed, it did have an ant problem, but it went away. And here, today I decided just to go and buy some plants. Just bought two herbs because these are fully um, developed. Uh, they looked very healthy. I did get them from Home Depot. It's only two dollars each plant. So this is a um, well. This is German Thai uh, thyme, and this is this oregano. And I also planted some seeds inside uh, cilantro, parsley, uh, 
basil and um, marjoram. Oh, if it was marjoram, might be surprised. <laughs> All right, so I have an end problem, and I'm gonna do some research and see if there's any other you know, organic methods of removing them, of dealing with the problem, and I'll go ahead and report my findings. Talk to you soon.